over the years um been through a lot of ups and downs throughout my professional career uh and you all have been part of the growth process uh you all have seen just where we started uh to where we are now and I feel like we've hit a lot of strides. We've made a lot of accomplishments. Uh, we have crushed a lot of goals. Um, we've had some highs. We've had some lows. Uh, but overall, I say it's a pretty, pretty good run. Um, and over those that same period of time, probably gained a significant amount of weight. So I don't move as fast as I used to. Uh, it's something that I've been trying to work on every year but it just never happens but uh i think that now i am uh probably gonna be calling it quits soon uh and i think that it's just probably best that yeah i might as well let y'all know now ahead of time no that's not about me that's not what team keep it clean that's what big ben told the pittsburgh steelers and apparently it was a private conversation, but somehow that private conversation got out. You know how these things go. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, ooh, we got a game coming up today with the Ravens and the Steelers. And apparently Ben Roethlisberger, ooh, timing is always everything, isn't it? He's saying this is his last ride. At least with the Steelers, because it's like one of those things where if you know that you you're probably going to end up getting fired, uh, then you let everybody know like, hey, hey, y'all boys, hey, management don't like me. They ain't feeling me. And look, I wanted to let y'all know so y'all won't be surprised just in case if it does happen. I might be out of here. We all done been there before. I know I personally been there before for sure. And it's just one of those things where you like, hey, you just start putting your boys on, letting the people know, like, this could go down. That's apparently what Big Ben did. So, the timing of it, he let everybody know right before the Ravens, or that's when it became public, right before the Ravens game. Ooh, what a good time, right? What a good time. Because those Steelers, they've been playing up and down all season long, and what better way to play up? Than against those Ravens Who have been They've been playing all over But they've been winning Most of the time But they, they've been playing all types of ways this season But hey, the most important thing It's 8-3 and three. They've been finding ways to get it done It's been crazy It's been a headache It's been stressful And I don't think today will be any different um, In this game The Ravens We say it every week But the Ravens still continue to do it Every week the slow starts got to go. Can we please get rid of the slow starts, please? Um, in this game from the offense, I would love to see, because it's going to be a physical game. I don't care about no Pittsburgh record. What are they, like 5-5-1, five, five and one, something like that. I don't care about their record. Their record does not give me any indication of how this game is going to go whatsoever. I, I don't care about that. In this game, the offense, I think the offense, the, they need to start off fast. We say it all the time. You give a team, not a bad team, but a team with a bad record, if you give that team any confidence whatsoever, they'll take advantage of it. Ravens need to get Rashad Bateman involved early and often in this one, in my opinion. I think you need to get him involved early and let him really establish who he is in this game. Let the world establish who Rashad Bateman is in this game what what a perfect game for Rashad Bateman to break out what a perfect game because we know he got hands we know this dude if he's one-on-one -on -one with a cornerback oh it's, it's over with but how about we even if it's just some short routes early on you get him involved you get them hands had them hands warmed up I said hams I must be hungry but you get them hands warmed up early on let, let him get going. And we are going to need that, that physicality that he can bring. Because Rashad Bateman, and I mean really all the Ravens receivers, they're yak guys. They're yak guys now. And I absolutely love that about them. Um, so let, let, let's do that. Uh, I saw that Nate McCrary, he got called up for this game. So congratulations, Nate. 
Uh, I would not expect him to get some crazy heavy workload. I, I wouldn't. If he did get it, like say for instance, the the, the punch in this game was obviously Devontae Freeman and then Nate McCrary and then Latavius Murray. I'd be cool with that. It's not going to happen, but I'd be cool with that. But I, I wouldn't expect him to get the ball so many times or anything like that. But if he does, I won't complain because it'll be something different and it'll be some youth at the running back position, and it'll once again be somebody leapfrogging Tyson Williams. I would expect him to be inactive for the game today. But, hey, we'll see how that goes. Still, I would love to, I would love to know what Tyson Williams did to somebody to where his status is like every week we had the same conversation because we just want we really want to know. We really want to know what happened with Tyson Williams. Anyway, um, Alejandro Villanueva, this would be a great game for you to just shine in a good way, in, in a good way. We know when the Ravens first signed Alejandro Villanueva, man, so many Steelers fans came through in the comment section and they were like, wow, this guy is bad. He is not a good player at all. Oh, man, Ravens, y'all really picked him up. Y'all really signed him. And it was like, oh, oh, okay. No. And I was thinking, well, Pittsburgh, they pass the ball 95% of the time. He's going to the Ravens where they run the ball 95% of the times. And it was like, okay, that, that should be good for him. That's good for any offensive lineman. And that can make any offensive lineman look that much better. But injuries happen to literally every position. And the Ravens, they haven't been running the ball like they used to. Not nearly as much as they used to. So Alejandro Villanueva, he's been not necessarily in the same situation, but in a situation where it does show some of his weaknesses. Um, but I would love for in this game for him to just look like an anchor on that offensive line. And for this, this would be the perfect day for him to have his best game ever. We know T.J. Watt is playing. T.J. Watt going to be lined up on the left side, on the right side. There, I'm sure they're going to move him around, do all type of things with T.J. Watt. So these Ravens better be ready for it. Cam Hayward, not sure if he's going to play or not. If he's out, that would be huge. And I think it's Spillane, who is a baller, or it's Highsmith. One of those two got put on the COVID list. I'm not sure if they'll be ready for this game. I don't believe so, but I'm not 100% sure about it. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see when the active and inactive list, list comes out at about uh, 2.55 uh, p.m. Eastern time. It was an hour and a half before the game. Um, but, yeah, back to Ravens offense. I just I really want them to get off to a, a good start early on because that can just that will make life not necessarily easier for them in this game, but it, it'll help things because it's going to be a tough game. This, this game actually. Uh, scares me more than the Browns game did. And you saw the Browns. They tried to give that game away. They they tried. They, the Ravens tried to give the game away. <laughs> Lamar was like, no, here, Browns, you take it. And the Browns were like, mm, we don't want to do anything with it. Then Lamar was like, here, have another chance. Then I'm like, oh, no, we don't want to do. Lamar said, here, have another chance. And the Browns were like, oh, okay. Touchdown, even though it wasn't really a touchdown. Then Lamar was like, you know what? Have another chance. Can't do that today. And I feel like Lamar in this game, he'll be much better. I mean, it won't be hard for him to be much better than he was in that last game. But I just feel like, because you know Lamar, he is one of those people that he, he takes it personally. And he definitely, he, he does not like making the same mistake twice. Uh, and, and you're not going to, you don't normally catch him just having these terrible, terrible, terrible games just so often. But Lamar, he, to, this has got to be the game where he gets out of that slump. The offense get out, gets out of that slump. Because you don't want to go to 8-4. and four. You, you don't want to go to 8-4. and four. If you were 8-4, and four, you'd still be in good position in the AFC and whatnot. You'd still be in good position in your division. But you don't want to be there. You need to grab, take hold, and maintain firm control of your position, not only in the AFC North, but in the AFC. And if the offense can show any sign of life today, Greg Roman, this will be the game where you said you got some stuff stored up in the vault. 
Let's see it. I saw some people, somebody on Twitter, they said, oh man, Greg Roman, he, he always got answers for everything up on the podium, in the interviews, in the presses. But on the field, it's a different story. Prove them wrong today, Giro. Prove them wrong today. I would, I would just love if this offense, if they just, they have life. Because in the Browns game, they didn't. In the Bears game, it's a different quarterback, so that's a little different. Um, but still, um, in obviously in the Dolphins game, no, nothing. Nothing. In the Vikings game, it took them a little while. But they picked it up. It took them a little while. In the Bengals game, <laughs> yeah. So you, you get my point. This offense has not been doing their thing for a while now. It's been a rough, like, 30 days for this offense. It's, it's, this is a nice time to snap out of it. It's a nice time to bounce back right now. So, anyway, um, offensive line, let's, let's make some lanes. And Lamar, I, I feel like this game, Lamar, in order to make more plays, he going to have to... It's, it's, and it's hard to say it because they're not trustworthy. But I feel like he has to trust his offensive line a little better. And that's such a tough position for him to be in because they haven't been good all year. But I think the fact that they haven't really been good all year, when they are good, it may be surprising to him. And sometimes he'll run into sacks. We saw it in the Bengals game. We saw it in the Browns game. It's happened in other games as well. But he has to do a better job with that. So there are going to be some plays. And, and you, ah, you don't want to see a quarterback take hits. And you hope that, again, that the offensive line keeps him upright all game. Um, but there are going to be some plays where Lamar might have to just stay in that pocket and sling that ball. A defender may be on the way. But if you see that route developing and you know, hey, it's time to let this thing go, make it happen, Kevin. And then the check downs. It, every single play, it doesn't have to be a deep ball. That's on Lamar. That's also on Greg Roman, too. Every single play doesn't have to be this long developing play. Because you know Pittsburgh, they're going to be sending it. You know they are. They are going to be sending it. So Ravens need to have an answer. They need to have an answer. This is such a, and I say it every week because every week it seems like it is. It's ever since week one, every game is a big game for the Ravens. Every game. This is no different, especially with it being a division game. Pittsburgh is, if they're not at the bottom of the division, then they are in third place. And that's close enough to the bottom. I forgot whether it's Browns at the bottom or Pittsburgh at the bottom. Either way, you need to leave them there. You need to allow them to remain exactly where they are and make it worse. I, I just, I, I don't see this game being a blowout at all. I just don't. And I, I think Pittsburgh has a legitimate, they are a legitimate threat to the Ravens in this game. Again, the records, they, they don't say anything to me. Not a word. Um, defense. Tackling. Tackling. That's first and foremost. Calais Campbell will be back. Even though defense did a good job without him, but with him, they can be that much better. Tackling. Najee Harris. Physical, 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 physical running back. You got to tackle him. You have to. Ben Roethlisberger. Last ride, Chase Claypool, Deontay, um, Fryer uh, Muth, I, I did hear that he was hurt, but I'm not sure how hurt he is. But either way, um, Ben Roethlisberger is somebody that he gets the ball out quick. So Calais Campbell could be huge in this game because Ben Roethlisberger, is that not, with Ben Roethlisberger, it's like he is very extreme with getting the ball out because He'll either snap the ball, get it out super fast, or he'll snap the ball. He will hold on to it for forever. 
And as a Ravens fan, we have seen this guy so many times make so many plays when he holds on to that ball. When you see Ben Roethlisberger holding on to that ball, pump faking, pump faking, and pointing, it's like, oh boy, here we go. So defense, Brandon Stevens, this is a huge test for Brandon Stevens this game. Oh my goodness, huge test for really the defense because we know the defense... And like every game, they've been having, leaving guys wide open. You're going up against a veteran quarterback who, he, he knows this stuff. As much as Ravens and Steelers fans, they go back and forth. They talk their trash about each other and the quarterbacks and the teams and whatnot. Ravens fans know. Ben Roethlisberger knows his stuff. And he can make some stuff happen. We done seen it time and time again. Uh, so Ravens, the way that their defense has been, you, oh boy, you got to tighten that up so much. You got to tighten that up so much, especially in this game. Because you're not going against a uh, Baker Mayfield. You're not going against uh, Justin Fields slash Andy Dalton. Even though Andy Dalton burned you, um, you're not going against a Tua, even a Jacoby Brissett. You're going against a seasoned veteran. He's been around the game for a long time. And he, he knows football. He knows the game and he knows the Ravens. You can't be letting guys run wide open. You can't. Another reason why I feel like the tackling is so important in this game is because the Steelers, they love that short passing game. They, they love it. They like the way that the Ravens were playing the Dolphins and throwing all them screens and throwing all them passes behind or right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, that's Steelers all day. That's Steelers all day. So when these receivers are getting the ball in their hands fast, it is so important that you, as a linebacker, as a cornerback, as a safety, as a defensive, as, as, as a defensive player, period, it's so important that when you make contact, you wrap up and tackle. If you can't bring that person down, you need to wrap up and hold them up until you get help. Help is on the way, but some, some plays you'll have to be a little more patient than others. But it is so important that these Ravens tackle and tackle well. It's going to be cold. This game is going to trickle over to the evening because it's going to start at 4.30 or 4.25 p.m., whatever you want to say. So it's important. tackling is going to be tough because it's going to be cold. It's chilly outside. Um, the cornerbacks, uh, they... Promoted uh, Robert Jack. They literally, they literally just signed Robert Jackson. They just signed him what two days ago, and he's already going to be playing in his first game. Already. So what that, what that says about our cornerbacks lets me know that oh we are hurting at the cornerback position. But we'll find out exactly how much we'll, we're hurting later on. Marlon Humphrey, I think he'll be a go. He was at the Wizards game. Yeah, you'll play. Now, if he was at the Wizards game and they say he's not playing, oh, that would be trouble. But we ain't got to worry about that. He'll play. Jimmy Smith, not expecting him to play. Tay Tay, yes. Anthony Averett, uh, I believe so. Um, Chris Westry, I don't know. I don't know. So with our cornerbacks, uh, just no clue. No clue. But whoever is out there, again, Wink, it's very important that these guys know, not only know, but understand their assignment as well. Because it's one thing to just know something, but to understand it, that's a whole nother thing. So it's important that the defense in this game, they just, they, they have to all be in unison. If you doing, doing pre-snap, you got guys pointing and guys looking like this and guys like, what, what do I do? You're going to get carved up. You're going to get carved up. Communication will be so important in this game. So important. That's why I feel like so much pressure is on Brandon Stevens in this game, especially as a rookie. It's your first time going against Big Ben, and your defense has just struggled all year. We're giving up so many big plays. So many big plays. Um, Chuck Clark, is he going to be talking to Brandon Stevens all game? All game long. 
But again, the communication just needs to be on point. Has to be on point. This game really worries me, man. It 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 really does. Um, I I definitely feel like this could go either way. The, either way that it went, I would not be surprised one bit. Wouldn't be surprised at all. The same way I felt about last week when I I, don't, I just don't see a blowout at all in this game. I I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Last week I thought the game. I thought it would be decided by. No more than two points. That was close because he got decided by three. Um, but in, in this game, I feel the same way. I feel like it's just going to be one of those close games throughout, man. And I, I just know, like, again, Steelers, a lot of people just been like, oh, man, Steelers, they're sorry, they're this, they're that. And I understand their record is what their record is, but Ravens and Steelers are just different. It brings out the best uh, in both teams. All the time. And they they take it to each other. They take it to the wire. They it's it's gonna be something serious, man. So may the best team win uh and add a victory to the win column uh in this one. Should be a good one. Team keep it clean. I love y'all. I will see you all during the live stream. And on that note, we out.